So, okay guys, a little while ago I showed you my, um, my panel in my car. Uh, this is running Android, and I figured I'd show you a few more things because it's come on a little way. Um, obviously my main music thing, I've got everything laid out here. So I've got my music down here. I have Rhapsody, which is my main source of music. The good thing about Rhapsody is, uh, it's a subscription service. About ten dollars a month, but it has access to pretty much every single song out there. Um, you can create playlists like here. Um, these are different playlists, and you can sync those with your computer wirelessly, or you can just stream. You can just um, obviously search uh, music. You can go back here to search. Um, See, so yeah, you can do artists. Lady Gaga and there you've got all your the albums or your top tracks see and you can just play it um, as you see it loads it up this is all via the in current uh, internet connection So pretty much I have access to, on the go, every kind of music that I want. Uh, it's great when my friends get in the car and they ask what music I've got. <laughs> I say everything. So I mean that's just one music player. Um, for podcasts, because I like to listen to the technical stuff, I have this. This is called Dogcatcher. Um, I really like this. Uh, and these download my music and... So I'm my podcast, so like I've got tech news today, because I'm a geek. Uh, it's updating feeds right now, it's just letting me know that there was some new podcasts loaded. Yeah, I can go here, and I can play that. Airspace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high... So again, plenty of access to music. Um, for radio, I use iHeartRadio. The thing about Higher Heart Radio is it has pretty much all the radio stations streaming, so these are my favorites. Um, you can list stations that are local to you using the built-in GPS, or you can search by city. So, I like XL 106.7. That's one of my favorites from a while I was like legitimately experimenting. So, uh, when you saw this girl? I was legitimately just making sure. So, pretty much you don't need a standard radio. You don't need um, a CD player. You don't need anything like that. You've got it all here, just on those three. I got Spotify, which I'm not too happy about, but it's uh... Then I've got all the video stuff. So, literally, Netflix. And again, this is all using the built-in Wi-Fi connect, uh, the uh, built-in 3G internet connection. So there, there's, you know, movies, I'm not sure what this is, here we go, hit this, and it's loading. <clears throat> Good morning. Woo! Swiss Family Robinson, that hat is dope. Thanks, Tom. Don't forget, this is over 3G. bad Larry on my dome? Wear it. On my head, try it on the ladies. Be my guest. Hi, I'm Tom. I have a raccoon on my head. So as you can see, using um, a tablet and a car really brings everything in. You've got YouTube right there. So I can load up, of course, YouTube, everything like that. Um, Skype. This tablet has a built-in front-facing camera, which is right there. So I can literally do video calls. There. This shows me my battery status. Uh, the way I've wired it is it's always powered by the car battery. But if something should happen, it's got its own internal battery. That normally stays at 100%. Yeah, um, I have GPS of course. Now this tablet has a built-in GPS receiver. So, pretty much, um, 
I've got turn by turn directions wherever I want. The good thing about using this with the uh, 3G data connection is, of course, it knows traffic information and can reroute you if there's um, upcoming traffic jams or stuff like that. So, of course, this sometimes takes a moment to load. I've been opening up a lot of programs. I use Navigon because um, I also use that on my iPhone. So I just found that it's really, really useful. Enter address, destinations, stuff like that. Uh, show map. And there we go. Let's go back to the home screen. Um, one of the things I really like is the around me. Uh, that allows you to search for specific things or stores. So, say I want to know where Target is. I just go... Target. Next. Search. There we go. Now, Target. Closest one is on Dale Mabry. And if I hit this, say, this one, I can show the route and I can send it to the GPS. Um, gas Buddy shows you the um, cheapest gas stations in the area. See, finding cheap gas, it's loading the stations near me using the GPS. And it's sort of. As you can see, Cumberland Farms, you're yeah, half a mile from me, has gas at your yeah, 345. Yeah, you can sort by price. The n closest one with the cheapest gas is 336, but that's nine miles away, so I can make a decision whether to go there and save gas or whatever. So as you see, adding a tablet with um, a Wi-Fi connection, sorry, um, 3G data connection, which the tablet has it all built in, is really useful. Um, I have things like Twitter, Weatherbug, Daily News, I have my email right here, um, I have access to all that, uh, I have access to my bank account information, um, my contacts which will wirelessly um, sync between my phone and my computer at home, so if I update on any of those it's always updated here, um, so I can go to contacts and as you can see I've got you know, information right there. Um, messaging, um, I can even send and receive text messages right into the car. Um, I have a remote VNC um, to connect to other computers, I've even got Angry Birds. So if you've got kids or something in the car and you go into the store and leave them, um, you know, there's games. You've got, of course, web browser, everything like that. Task manager, so I can exit all of those running programs. Um, Basically the tablet is connected to um, an amp in the back and I've got volume controls right there um, for up and down volume. I don't know why anyone would use a regular stereo right now. When you can put this in the car for with the amp and everything for less than 500 and just get access to everything, why would anybody use anything less? So if you want, um, you can post some comments or questions um, on under this video and I'll be happy to answer them um, any technical questions or anything like that but that's my car stereo which is running Android